right, so today we're back with another slightly different product. I did one of these last year. And now special thanks to this company, my friends over at Kaku were nice enough to send us their smart camera bird feeder with a solar rooftop. So basically this is a smart camera that is attached to the solar roof of the bird feeder where it can continuously charge in the sun where the battery is always good. And then it's able to connect to your Wi-Fi and send you notifications of whichever birds land on your bird feeder. It even will tell you exactly which bird it was. So of course we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll unbox this, and then we'll go through the setup process with the app, set it up outside, and hopefully get some birds to land on and show you how it works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out this Cuckoo Smart Camera Bird Feeder. All right, let's open up our Cuckoo Smart Camera Bird Feeder with the solar rooftop, a little bit of what it looks like on the front, nothing on the bottom, nothing really on the top, but the company name, as well as bird feeder with camera. A nice little handle. Side just mentions the solar roof. This side mentions smart camera bird feeder with solar rooftop, ultra wide HD photos, 1080p live stream video, 1.5 liter food capacity, built in microphone, AI bird recognition, and app control. And in the back tells you a little more. It'll identify over 11,000 species of birds. Bird detection notification, automatically notify you when a bird stops by, it'll never miss a moment. Charge with the solar panel, charge up to 1,000 milliamp hours per day with a built-in solar panel roof. Nature-friendly housing design, it's IP65 weatherproof. Auto capture video of birds, it'll automatically take videos and store them in the TF card or cloud, SD card or cloud. Capture photos and videos via playback function. 1080p HD camera with night vision, get the best shots of photos and videos even at night. Capture every bird with a 130 degree wide angle lens and device share function. Unlimited device sharing, share the fun with your family and friends. So it looks like it does have a 5200 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. We got the blue version, two megapixels for photos and 1080p HD live stream video built-in microphone, the operating temperatures, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, etc. So let's take this on out and take a look at it here. What we got? What we got? Wow, very nice. So foam. Foam. It's got a included little product manual. Looks looks to be pretty detailed. Nicely done. And uh, wow, third feeder. Oh, there is some stuff in the bottom. Okay, that's not everything. So that's just foam. What? They included a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. I love it. Then we have uh, some screws, reset pins, etc. We have an included micro USB cable for charging this up first time, or if you need to take it down to charge it. Um, this looks like part of the mount for mounting the for mounting the bird feeder. And uh, well, this all seems to be a part of that. So a couple of uh, parts here and uh, then a metal mount. And that's that's it for the box. Not going to leave it up here. So this is the mount. Oh, wow. Drill sticker. Nice. So you literally mount this to the wall and then uh, you can either you could mount it this way. Basically, this little piece pops in to where the three screws hold this onto this and then it's all mounted. I'll show you some of that. So inside of this is our actual bird feeder. So here's our little solar roof. Looks like it'll just pop into place. Wow, that's USB-C. Why is that USB-C, but the cable was micro USB. Weird. Okay, uh, what else we got in here? The uh, actual bird feeder here. Don't fully know why the... Uh, regular USB was included. Ah, so this side is a uh, micro USB. This side is USB-C. Very weird. That's how this works. Okay, that out. Take that off. So once you get this plugged in, it's, uh, it's in there and that's that. And uh, so basically you'd be able to just fill your food in here. It rolls out to the bottom and your birds can land there and eat it. So uh, we're going to get this charged up first and once it is charged then we'll put it together we'll download the app and show you how that works and then show you this bird feeder actually working all right so i have charged up this camera a good bit i don't know if it's on 100 percent but i at least had it charging so first thing we're going to do is get our nice included 64 gig micro sd card installed in the camera and so to do that you kind of take this and rotate it all the way around. Now the camera itself does not slide out of this unless you undo this little pin. So we're not going to do that. So we'll undo this and then actually underneath this is where your SD card, your on off switch, 
your sync button, etc. is. See all that right there? Take our little SD card. Luckily it tells us which way to put it, so that's helpful. We'll slide this in, push it down. There we go, SD card in place. And then I think the last thing really to do here is we'll flip this to on, which should turn the camera on, you see? There we go. Then we'll put this back in place to help it be waterproof or weatherproof. Plug in our cable for our solar panel. Hopefully I don't need that sync button. <laughs> and before we plug in the solar panel, I'm going to try to get this synced with my phone. That way, in case I do need that sync button, I can get to it. So inside of their manual, there it is, the Bird Lover app. So I already have the Bird Lover app on my phone. So this is the Bird Lover app. I've logged in to my account. And since this is flashing red, I'm hoping that's syncing mode. So we'll click add device. It asks us what we are adding. They have a couple of options there. 4G smart pet feeder. Wow. BF15, BF002, BF13, BF11. This is, uh, the manual says to select smart bird feeder, which I'm guessing it'd be BF002 or BF11, because those look to be similar to this one. So uh, going to select the BF11 and try it. Next step, Wi-Fi info, yep. Click next, scan the QR code with the bird feeder. So there we go. I heard the prompt, click next, and now it's adding this device to my Wi-Fi network. We'll let it do its thing. And there we go, smart bird feeder camera. So we'll select done, and we are connecting into the camera. And we do have a little green light here. All right, so there's our uh, video stream. Please format it and try again. Okay. Oh, it's formatting it now. We'll let it do that. Motion detected at bird feeder. Once this formats, we'll come back and show you through some of the app and then we'll set this up. All right, so that has completed. And over here you can see we're in HD. We got 96% battery. Now there's a little mute button here, so we'll unmute that. Down here you can take a picture, so that would uh, snap a screenshot. This would, of course, how does it magically get turned up? I don't understand. This would, of course, record a video, so we'll, uh, and then this uh, should stop that video. Now down here you got your playback, gallery, collection, share, siren. It's got one-way talk, device volume. We'll uh, put that all the way up. Motion detection is enabled. Uh, and then really I think the only other thing is these three dots give us our settings. So you can see your smart bird feeder settings, basic function, IR night vision, power management settings, detection alarm settings, video record duration. We want it to be, we at least want 30 seconds. Uh, activity area, alarm linkage, schedule. There's some of the uh, features in here, storage settings. So that's our SD card where you can format it as well. Recording settings, loop recording, online notifications, and remove device. Infrared night vision, auto on or off. Basic function settings, status indicator, flip screen, time trademark, etc. That's really about it. I guess let me try to show you the speaker. Granted, I feel like you'd scare the bird using the speaker, but we'll we'll still use it. Hold on. This is a speaker test on the bird feeder. And that should about do it. So now we can actually close this up. So we'll pop this back in place, plug in our cable. There we go, get our camera positioned. Now the top of this works very interestingly. So really just kind of sets in here, to be 100% honest. It has a little clip right here, and outside of that, you take this USB-C cable and plug it in right here. That way the solar panels are working with the camera. Only other thing is uh, this. We got two screws here. This just kind of uh, goes down in here so the birds can land on it and screws in with two screws. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna take it outside, and we're gonna set it up with the mount. Well, let's go. Side note, in case you didn't want to use uh, this little rubber piece with the solar panel, include this one for the ones who may just want to charge it up and take it down. The uh, BF11 model number was on the bottom. Didn't see that before. It is the BF11 model. Good guess. <laughs> so now we're going to take our mount with uh, these screws, and uh, I think I'm going to mount it right about here. This, this seems like a pretty good spot to put it. Let's put in our four screws. <laughs> There we go. Mount is installed. Now we take the actual uh, bird feeder and set it uh, on this like so. And then we take this little plate and these three screws and mount it to the bottom so that it doesn't come off. Decided to kind of angle it away from my neighbor's house, but it is uh, installed now. Now all we got to do is plug in our USB-C cable. And with our USB-C cable in, the only thing left is to uh, add some bird food. Let me add some bird seed before I uh, close this thing up. There you go. 
Nice. And so then top is able to just kind of come down and clip into place like so. So there we go. Our bird feeder is installed and uh, ready for little birds to land here and eat their bird seed. Here are a few clips of some birds eating from the bird feeder. All right, and so that will do it for the Cuckoo Smart Bird Feeder camera setup. Definitely much easier than the last model I used. And so far I haven't had any connectivity issues from here to uh, where my router is. So if you're into bird watching, this would be great for you because every bird that lands here, the camera will tell you exactly what type of bird it is. So you can't beat that. I'll of course have this exact bird feeder link down below in my description if you'd like one for yourself. Also, if you think you like this smart camera bird feeder, there's a link down below in the description where you can save $20 off of the smart bird feeder with code BCV2023. That's uh, also right here. And that should do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.